imagine that, uh, again, I did my arm bar. All right, so I'm on the S mount position and you go, you know, right here. Again, if I, if, especially if I like a lot to put my foot under his shoulder, just me. So I'm doing the traditional, right? So I push the head down, put that face, that hand right against his face, step over, right? And I'm here and he's holding his hands. So again, I want to elevate my knees just in this case. But first I switch, grab my own fight, squeeze my knees, bring his head out. And then from here, that's where I bring my elbow together, Kimura. But say that as I'm doing this, he tries to clear this leg to try to push it out. When he does that, that's when I catch under. And then I take Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought, oh, God, that would be good. All right, so one more time. Uh, starting from, so again, I, there's so many different ways to get to the letter S mount. Um, some people go cross, um, like some people bend the head, you know, push and get to here. I like always to play with his arms, so I put my bottom of my foot pointing that way. So I have the weight of my leg over his ribs. I'm leaning forward, catch his arm, control my lapel, crush his face, put my hand on the ground. So that's when I'm gonna bring my leg around, sit. Um, a lot of times I'm catching the, the opposite arm just to have a good control so he doesn't use his arm to try to escape. And of course I'm gonna try to go for a regular arm bar, but he's getting a good grip trying to break, not working, I don't want to go the other ways. So I squeeze my knees together, switch this grip, control my own thigh, and now that's when I'm going to bring his arm around here. I'll keep the grip. So imagine he was fighting, keeping the grip. So I put my hand, I mean his hands right outside my knee, and that's when I catch with my elbow, crank to get the Kimura. And then usually I get the Kimura, but if he clears that to escape, I go under, control his armpit, and that's when I... All right, so let's go.